Alright, so for a few weeks now, we've been talking about doing a new desk setup. This is the office here, and it's okay, but our desks aren't the best. I have this executive style desk with the drawers and stuff, and it's fine, but it's not exactly modern or what I want anymore. It's not really big enough either for those kind of monitors I have, 43 inch. And Megan has this little desk over here that's just small, it was from like Walmart or something a while back. And it works for what she has, but if she wants like another monitor, it's not really gonna work. So the plan is to build a desk setup that goes across the three of these walls. And uh, we'll see how that works out. Okay, I'm sweating a lot. It's hot, those things are heavy. I don't know why I decided to do this on a day when it's like 95 degrees, but we have the two pieces here. I don't know why I'm recording this this way. And I still gotta get the piece over here, but I just slipped my desk out of the way because it weighs so much. So I'm probably just gonna put the other piece right behind it, mount the stuff, and then just move everything back. That's probably gonna be a lot easier. And then I can actually get rid of that desk, which, ugh. So I have a lot of screws and I have the brackets, but apparently none of anything that I have will actually fit. These are the ones I thought would fit the best, but if I take the bracket here and try to put the screw through, it just kind of falls through. So I don't think that's gonna work. So off to the hardware store. All right, time to find some screws, Home Depot. So I got the first piece up. And I really should have recorded this, but it seems to be working great. There's two braces on either side. The actual wall studs don't really seem to match up as well as I'd want them to, but this should be fine. Worst case scenario, I went up putting a center beam right here. But for now, these look fine how they are. Once I actually get them screwed down, it'll be even better. It's at a 30 inch height, which is gonna be perfect for our use case. All right, well, excuse the fan noise in the background. It's probably pretty loud, but you know, it's hot. I'm sure you can see me sweating. 95 degrees here today. So, seem to have come to a little bit of an issue already that I didn't really think about before. You know, the, the original plan for this was to have all four of these desks floating we're not floating, to have, now they're floating, to have them on legs. Specifically, those cheap little $4 legs from Ikea, kind of an Ikea desk hack type of thing. But they're out of stock everywhere. The two different Ikeas within 100 miles of us, they're both out of stock until like September, which is not great. Um, so we decided to go with the brackets, like these ones right here. Thanks, Bitwit. <laughs> but... They don't, when I designed this, I didn't think about the fact that they'd be against the walls. I knew we'd have about six inches of clearance on either side, or sorry, five inches on either side when we use the legs, which would've been fine because we still could've pushed it together and it would've looked look fine. But now that they're mounted against the wall, there's an issue of right here, there's a large gap that would be in between this piece of wood and this of about six inches to this wall. So if I mount it to this wall, of course there's gonna be an issue of a gap right here. And if I made a standoff going against this wall, there's gonna be a big gap on this end and it's not gonna look good there either. And of course, I was just gonna make a shim, a little standoff there, but I'm also concerned about the strength of the wood and the amount of the depth of the screws I would need. It just wouldn't be good. So then, my wife, of course, thinking a little bit more um, level-headed than me, <laughs> just came with the idea to just put a board here. So I'm gonna get a six inch piece of MDF and just put it right across this and use some, uh, some brackets on the bottom to just hold it together. And Ikea actually, when you get these uh, desk pieces, these countertops, they give you these little edge pieces if you wanna cut this to size. And 
I know it's probably an idea, why didn't you just get a longer size? Because this does come in 96 instead of 74, but literally I just couldn't have got it home. I didn't have any vehicle large enough to actually bring that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a six inch piece of MDF, and as long as I don't put anything too heavy in that little section, it should be fine. It's not gonna look perfect, but it'll be fine for what it is. All right, it is now under the wall there with a two inch uh, space on the backing. We're gonna have an inch of the back there so you can drop cables down behind. But this is the space I was talking about. It's actually five inches exactly times 25 and a half. So I'm gonna go get a piece of MDF and that should solve that problem. I'm also gonna solve this issue here with some little locking, um, little locking pieces. Can't remember what they're called, it doesn't matter. And then this, this, this actual desk piece here is screwed in all the way and it is pretty solid for what it is. All right, to the Home Depot. All right, we're finally at our Home Depot. I had a nice guy named Nick cut our wood for us. Got it perfectly, five inches by 25 by, I think it's a, a half inch or a three fourths. So it should add, add it up perfectly. And uh, now we're gonna go get some pizza because it's late and we're starving. Hopefully we can get this desk thing done by the end of tonight and I'll have this video up for you guys tomorrow. All right, well, I think that is everything. Well, actually I gotta fix that. All right, so this is better-ish. The IKEA tabletops come with these like strips, but unfortunately they do not include any kind of adhesive. So I've gotta buy some adhesive and fix that, but that will be later, seeing as everything is closed now. It is now 9.52, they should not have taken this long. But it's done and it looks amazing. Time to get everything set up on it. Well, it took a lot longer than expected, but it's finally done. The plan here was to create kind of a floating desk setup with pretty much seamless desks all the way around in a U shape in the office. And it seems to have worked out pretty well. Of course the cable management's a little messy, but I'm tired. This is the area that was too short, but it's fine. I need to get the adhesive to put the stripping on top, but it should look fine after that. Of course, I need to do a few things still, like vacuum and get rid of some other things in the office that are taking up way too much space, but this is a much needed improvement. I have room for everything now, whereas before it was just a 60 inch desk that I was trying to fit two 43 inch monitors on and that just wasn't working out well. So anyway, I'm going to get some sleep. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.